and sisters, loved ones, uh, we have gathered here today. And today, this kind of moment is, um, I hope and I wish I could speak the Tongan language. Then I would have done this ceremony or this uh, service in both Samoan and Tongan. I, just, I have no problem conducting it in Samoan because that's my native tongue. But in the Tongan brothers and sisters, you know, my apology just to make things fair for everyone, I will then conduct this in English so that everyone understands. We welcome you. We welcome you to the wedding and the marriage of um, John and Sarah this, this, this wonderful, beautiful morning. Thank you all for coming and thank you for being here as well. 
I'm sure that there were people that were supposed to be here. Unfortunately, they cannot make it whether, whether through passing and other ways that they could not make it here. But I know that their spirit are here with us to witness this wonderful occasion for John and Sarah. So we will begin and open by singing, open this service by singing in hymn number 294, Love at Home, after which we invite Brother Committee for Noah to open this service with a prayer. Could I have a sister to come in? That is there a sister here that can. Brother, my love. Oh. 
Dear Father in heaven, we come to you this time, this morning. Grateful Father, thankful for the opportunity that we do have to be done. We pray to Father for the atoning sacrifice of thy son Jesus Christ. We pray to Father for the leaders that lead us this day. And we thankful and grateful for thy gospel in our life. Father, we come to you at this time. We ask for thy spirit be upon us, especially as we get here, as families, friends, extended family. Witness and suffering. A special day. <coughs> we pray, part of thy spirit, be upon us to lead them and to guard them. That they may be able to continue to start their family in a way that have commanded us to be able to do in this land. To have family that we might be able to enjoy our time. We pray, Father, for the extended family, especially <coughs> to that we might be able to help them, support them, in the things that they need in this life, that make it possible for them in their family. We pray, Father, at this time, Lord, and for those who are here, God, that we have spirit of unity that we might be able to bring <coughs> the two custom culture to make it one. <coughs> we love the different. We enjoy the gospel that we restore. We pray for God and the blessing that we have enjoyed in this life. And that's our prayer. <coughs> we have to say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Brother Committee for Noah, for <coughs> inviting <coughs> the Spirit to be here. <coughs> Excuse me. And everyone for singing that wonderful hymn, Love at Home. What a good beginning. We need to have that love within the home. Today we will put together these two young people and make covenants. They will make covenants with Heavenly Father or with God. And that no one can put aside, no one can put asunder. So he's given to them what's been done under the, by, by God. No man can put asunder. So today also we're putting together a kingdom and a nation. But more importantly, another greater kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. And that's what we celebrate. We celebrate the marriage that will be performed shortly between John and, and, um, and Sarah. So may I invite you, John and Sarah, to please come forward. And face each other and Sarah, this is the ring. Will you please place the ring? Oh, I mean John, would you please place the ring on Sarah's name? Finger. You're okay to come and take photos. The photographer in the video room, come and take photos up here. You're okay to come and do it. Okay, put it on there. Is that the right finger, John? <laughs> I hope you're putting it on the right finger. And now take each other in the right hand. In the right hand, in the handshake. Take each other in the right hand. <coughs> <coughs> 
And now we will read out to you John first, the oath and the covenant that you will be making today. Okay? Um Shione Tiweti for Nua and and Sarah and Anastasia Tuafale now taking each other by the right hand. It's a token of the covenant that you will enter into in the presence of God, witnesses. Shione Tiweti for Nua. Do you take Sarah and Anastasia Tuafale as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband, that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenant, and obligation pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? Say it loud, everybody here. The witnesses are here, they need to hear it. I'll do, I'll do. You gotta say it loud because there's no microphone. Okay, Sarah and Anastasia to our father. Would you please put the ring on John's left finger? Right finger, I think. Which finger, John? <laughs> Let me look. Yeah, yeah. It's left hand. <coughs> now get you again to take each other by the right hand. And this time, it's you, Sarah. Sarah Anastasia Tuafale, do you take Sione Tiwechi Fonua as your lawfully wedded husband? And to you of your own free will and choice, covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants and application pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live. I do. I do. <laughs> Okay, this is, this is the special part. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Sione Tiweti Fonua, and Sarah Anastasia Tuafale, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with the joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may this blessing I invoke upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. You may kiss each other as <laughs> husband and wife. <laughs> now I'm going to invite your... your your best man and your maid of honor, because they will serve as witnesses. This legalized the, the marriage, so we've got to make sure that we've done this properly. Okay? So the best man, we're going to sign some papers. Again, don't be shy to come up and take photos while we're taking, um, while we're signing papers. And if, if you have a song during this time, you can play the song while we do the, the signing. Can we sit down while the day? Now you two sign first, and then you go sit down, and then your witnesses come. Okay? We got a few documents to sign. So come around here. Thank you. 
Gentlemen, let me present to you Mr. and Mrs. Fanua. Yeah. You know what? That really concludes our service for this morning. I like a lot of other people don't want drag on services. But I just have a few more things to say to these two, and then we will close. Okay, John and Sarah, there is two words that I really want to stress this morning to you. One of them was read out in your oath, and that is to cleave. 
to cleave to one another. The scripture says that this is the reason why the man leaves his parents, his mom and dad, and cleave unto his wife. So I went looking for the meaning of the word cleave in Samoa is fatasi. Doesn't sound very formal or official. Then I don't know the Tongan words for cleave, but for Antikoko, it's like a stick, a stick together, a glue, glue together. Okay. So in this case, John, you need to leave your mom and dad and cleave onto her. This is your oath. You you've taken that upon yourself. The other one is sacrifice. Of everything else, there is one word that I could just narrow marriage down to, and that's sacrifice. Because it is. It's a great thing. It's sacrifice on your part, John, and sacrifice on your part to make this union and make this marriage work. Without that, you're going to find it very difficult as you join it together as a couple, especially these days. When things happen in between the couples, when they turn to the world for answers, to w the world's answer is divorce. You can get another one. But if you turn to God, to God's answer is repent. When you repent of the mistake that you've done and make it work, that would be his answer to you too. You will make covenant today. Not only just between you two, but between you two and God. And that's something that you need to look at. When your journey and your sailing gets rocked a little bit, because it will be, turn to God. For his answer would be, repent of the things that you've done. Make the marriage work, sacrifice more, and cleave unto each other. Sacrifice means, John, you being a single man, a lot of friends, a lot of people that knew you, you know, they will put that pressure on you. Come on, John, come on, we'll hang out with the boys, you know. You need to sacrifice that. And I'm not saying that to be mean to your friends, but now your priority should be her. Vice versa with you, Sarah, with your friends, you've done being single. You've enjoyed being a single man and a single woman. Now, you're a couple. And everything that you do should be agreeable together. Be able to sit down and talk over things. If there's a problem, don't sweep it under the carpet and think that oh, yeah, it will solve itself. It will not. Sit down and talk about it. Finance. Be very careful. It can be very stressful. And that can really ruin a marriage. Make wise financial decision together. Don't look at your friend or another couple and say, hey, they have it. We can get it too. Don't compare. Really look at what you need to do to keep this marriage. The children will come. And sometimes we, fathers and mothers, as soon as the children come, we think, oh, that's my priority. I love my children more than my wife. No, you should love your wife more than your children, vice versa. And then together, love your children. Meaning that you need to prioritize each other. John, Sarah should become your number one priority. And so is Sarah. John should be your number one priority. So when the children come, they should be your, as a couple, number one priority. You work together. May the Lord bless your union. May you have joy in the posterity and the children that Heavenly Father will bless you with and that you, they will surround you and feast upon the table that you feast on. May he continue to bless you too with good health so you will continue to serve others but especially serve our Heavenly Father. Parents of the couple and families of the couple Let's be supportive of them, please. A lot of time is us, the extended family and the, the big family, put a lot of pressure on this young couple, this you know, young family, just beginning. 
You know, John spent a little bit more at Sarah's house. You know, Sarah, uh, John's family would say, are oh, you taking up all your time at, his, at her family? Vice versa. But we, families and friends, love is the word. If we really, truly love these two couple, let's do all that we can. Sacrifice come into it. Sacrifice the things that we, so we don't put too much pressure on them. A lot of the time it's the father we love it and the things that we do, that we seek for financial um, help from young couples like them. Please, ease the burden. Don't put burden on the couple. Help them. Don't make them feel, have to choose. We choose your family or me. Please don't. If we've gone that far, we have gone too far. But let us help make this union a wonderful union. John and Sarah, there's great promises that I cannot give to you today. That is available in another wonderful place. And that is the temple, which will seal your love for time and all eternity. Your union today ends at death. When death comes, so you depart. But for marriage for time and all eternity is to seal your love for this time and for the next life. That means you continue that love beyond the bonds of death. Death cannot break that. Death cannot break that wonderful, which is the new and everlasting covenant of marriage for time and all eternity. You have the opportunity to live where God lives if you abide and keep those sacred covenants. May the Lord continue to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We will sing the closing hymn, number 300, Families Can Be Together Forever, after which I would like to invite Sister Salama Sina Brandt to say the closing prayer.
and uh, thou hast blessed us with, and especially for John his, and his beautiful wife. And I see, Father, for the duration of this celebration that thou will be with us and help, help us to be safe and help us to <coughs> feel the love and feel in unity and, and happiness for this couple. We ask thee to bless them with health and strength. Bless them that they may be able to um, love each other and start their family in love and, and peace. Heavenly Father, we ask to bless the families that, and friends and relatives that we may be able to support them, we may be able to help them in their endeavors as they start their family together. We ask thee, Father, to bless us all so we may be safe and this we say humbly in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you everyone for coming. May I invite you to please be upstanding as the newlyweds and the bridal party slowly make their way out or exit the, um, uh, the hall. Congrats.